from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. I don't know about you, but some of the sunrises and sunsets over the last couple of days have been pretty awesome. This was sunset as we looked at down in southeast Oklahoma. Ken Lee sent this picture in, and that was just one of many great pictures. We had some rainbow pictures, so many good things. And then what do I do? Yeah, I throw in the ozone alert. How do I go from something nice to something frustrating? Well, it's back to ozone alert time. Light winds tomorrow, quite a bit of sunshine, some dry air hanging around Tulsa. Yeah, it's not a good combination, so please help us out if you can another time. Ozone season is going to be winding down, but it's still going strong right now. We're talking about a quiet night across the Tulsa area at this hour. We're at 83. We still have a little bit of a heat index because the dew points in the upper 60s. Some drier air is trying to filter into the area, but it's taking a sweet time. But you can tell we're down to 75 in Claremore, 77 in Pryor, hanging around the 80 degree mark around Tulsa with 85, the warm spot down around Glenpool. Now, as far as looking at rainfall the last seven days, these are estimated off of radar, but most of us have not picked up a ton of rain. We've picked up some, so things are a little bit greener. And a few areas up in Osage County, also up around Claremore, over on the east side of Pryor, and also just west of Coweta. That's the green areas indicate where some of the heavier rains were located. So that's been kind of a nice deal. And then as you look at the last three days, that also is inclusive of down around Lake Eufaula and McIntosh County portions of Haskell County, then also down into northern Latimer County. And then, of course, northwest Arkansas, at least the eastern portions of Benton and Washington County is not doing too bad. And then up into Chautauqua County, Osage County. So there's several locations that have picked up some nice rains in the last three days. Unfortunately, I'm not one of those, so I'm a little depressed. Over the last 30 days, there's still also pockets where it hasn't been all that great. Southern Oklahoma, where we've needed rain because it hasn't rained, has finally picked up some along with southeastern Oklahoma. So there are some good spots, and there's still a lot of need for rain. Rain. But tonight, no real rain hanging around. We're in the 70s, a little bit drier air situated across the northeast corner here. That's why we're cooler than most locations of Oklahoma. As far as looking at how it feels, this is the dew point. Dew point's down the 50s up in northern Osage County, Chautauqua County, Montgomery County in Kansas, and then also from around Venita on up to Miami. That's very comfortable air. And you get to the south, and it's more like sticky, not quite sauna, but very sticky air across the area. And slowly, some of that's going to be pushing southward, so drier air should be in place by the morning. And that'll allow our temperatures in the lower 60s still mid to upper 60s right in the immediate metro area and then if you're south again you're not going to be affected by the cooler drier air so to speak as we go through the afternoon everybody's back into summer isolated thunderstorms south central oklahoma but we're still dealing with the 90s 90 is normal but we'll see some scattered showers and storms in southeastern oklahoma on thursday more clouds so we're knocking our temperatures down a little bit in the upper 80s to near 90 and then we'll be back in the low 90s on friday with slight chance of storms mainly in southeast oklahoma and if you look at these weather maps you're gonna go what is the difference you're looking like every day is the same it basically is upper 80s and low 90s slight chance of storms mainly in the southeast part of our area sunday upper 80s low 90s slight chance of thunderstorms southeast part of our viewing area and on Monday, upper 80s, low 90s, scattered thunderstorms, mainly in southeast Oklahoma. Kind of a broken record, but at least there is a slight chance of rain. And for those who haven't picked up rain, there's a little bit of hope. As we look at the next 10 days, anywhere from one inch to two inches possible. But where I was showing you where the higher focus of thunderstorms will be, you guys southeast could see two to four inches of rain before it's all said and done. Odds in Tulsa just aren't that great. So don't expect a lot, but there will be a few areas of rain. Temperatures should remain at or above normal, so that's still a little bit of an issue that we'll have to deal with. Our forecast tonight, not too bad. 60s, low 60s if you're north and east of Tulsa. 91 by noon, and then we're 95. We're hot in the afternoon, but it should be not quite as humid. That is the good news. We do have a little bit of a drop on Thursday because of the cloud cover and a few showers around. Slight chance of thunderstorms. We go on into Labor Day weekend, but overall that still looks like a summer forecast to me. We'll be back with sports coming up.